If anybody wants to hold it themselves and get a picture, we can do that um, once we're all done before we let it go. I just ask that any and all pictures that you post right now that you take, just please be sure you state that you are with ACES or I might not remember you and hunt you down and report you to the police force department <laughs> because we're the only permitted people in the country to do this right now. Us and Lam and I on the New River with the Morelettis. But, um, and just please state that, you know, it was all educational because there's a lot of activism going out there about having a picture taken with wild animals, da 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 da. So, what we're gonna do... Oh, I can feel his back muscles tense. Yeah. He didn't like that. <laughs> Alligators is their ISOs, which are called integromary sensory organs. <coughs> alligators only have them on their snout, and on this little guy, they're hard to see. They're more prominent on adults, but you see like little tiny freckles almost, just kind of slight grayish like that. Through here, they have them all around their snout through here, and you can see them more on their belly if you look real close. Do you see these little tiny dots? Yeah. Little tiny dot, little tiny dot. Every one of those little tiny dots is a sensory organ that detects vibration and pressure changes. So they can feel the vibration from the boat engine before we ever got anywhere up here. And that's wow. how they, in cloudy water, can catch their prey. The vibrations on their snout and their belly pick up. Um, some say even um, pressure changes and vibrations. And they're investigating the possibility of salinity changes as well. But um, this... The, the difference with the Americans and the Morlet, or the American, not Americans, the crocodiles and the alligators is alligators only have them on their snout, but the crocodiles have them on their belly as well. Hmm. Cool. So the crocodiles are much more sensitive. This particular species of crocodile is actually considered extremely vocal, one of the most vocal of all the crocodile species, and they make a large range of noises from moans to chirps. Um, they use tail slapping, jaw smacking. During mating season, the male will smack the jaw, and whoever smacks their jaw the loudest attracts the female. They will smack their jaw with that 3,000 pounds per square inch, yeah, just like oh, that. Oh, that must hurt. So hard, they will, they can shatter their own teeth. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Now they grow back. Yes. So one of the first measurements is somebody could shine their light right there for me. And if you could double check and help me read, we're going to measure the head length from the tip of the snout to the back of the cranial plate. And I call it as 12, 12 centimeters. pretty much right on to 12 centimeters. So that's head length, 12.0 centimeters. Then we're going to do a snout length. And we're going to measure this way because you're going to go from just the tip of the eye. True measurements like these should be done with calipers to be a little more accurate, but this is the best we have right now. I call so it gonna, 7. Is it right at 7 or no. you got a 7 point something? 7 point it's something. Point. Just, just 7 yeah. point, about 2 I think. We'll say 2. We're going to do a total length over the back. If you could lift your hand and then put it right down on top of the tape. Go ahead. Okay. We're going to come down here. And it's going to somebody shine right there. I think we're at 76, right on the dot. 76. Was that 6? No. Yes, 76. Okay, since he is so small. Mm -hmm. You said the most accurate way is the other way, but you want it to be consistent, so you do it through, over the back every yes, time. Yes, I've done what it over What would the difference be right here? Oh, uh, we could just check to, and see. Just to see. Just to see how much difference. Look at the thought. I've never really done that. Hold still on that. Not that it matters. I just was curious yeah. to see. Yeah, to me, it looks like it ought to be about yeah. the same. Put it right on the tape there. If anything's shorter, though, should be. When they do this Look at me. I'm touching your nose. With the large ones. <laughs> When they do it with the large ones, ah, yeah, we got a difference. Yeah, yeah, we got a difference. It should be shorter, shouldn't it? It's actually longer because his weight's pushing his body out oh, more, I okay. guess. 
I got 76.5. So I'm going to take that measurement as well, and I'm going to continue to do that until I can get a ratio. Okay. Total length belly. What did we say? 76.5. 76 76 mm -hmm. That's a good, thank you. I'm going to start collecting data on that. There might be a paper on that someday. Anything I can help? Okay, now this is going to be the tough part, and he's going to fight you. Okay. And we're going to, him or her, we're going to flip it over on its back. And here's where you'll feel how strong these animals, even at this size, can be. Yeah. The I larger know, yeah. animals will actually curl their tail around your arm like that. Okay. And try to. I've had the head of a croc that was tied up at about seven foot hit me in the shin and broke my shin. Literally broke. Literally broke. Wow. Yeah, you're right. So, he doesn't like this. So <laughs> what did you do? I lived in Belize. Nothing at the time. I got a huge lump there now, and I mm -hmm. didn't really even know. I knew it hurt really bad, but I didn't know it was broke at the time. But I just went to the doctors and had MRIs done because I have herniated discs, and they checked my. Oh, surprise me! You waited until my guard was down, didn't you? Ah, uh, yes. Stinker. You can never put your guard down. You, know, you give them an inch, they take them out. You're right. And anyways, the doctors said it had been busted, and I have a huge calcium. Sorry, problem. people who are watching this video. Okay. <laughs> what we're going to measure are you right now also? Uh -huh. is move your hand back just a little bit for me. Okay. We're measuring to the front and to the rear of the cloaca. Okay. okay. This is a snout vent length anterior and posterior. It helps with health assessment. Okay. So this is 36.5, I would say. Mm -hmm. My eyes aren't the best. I got glasses and I'm going since I got an extra set of beneath it. And to the posterior mark is about 38.2. He's such a little guy, I'm not going to sex him because I don't want to try to damage. I got it. I got it. You don't want to take a chance of being Exactly. You can yeah. stick hemostats in there, like I said, or you can use a popping method by squeezing it, but you can you can hurt them. So there's just no, yeah, to me, it, there's that. no even sense. All right. Da -da -da -da. Hey. This is my funnest part. <laughs> Drum roll, please. Up until these, we've been scoot clipping them, okay? When you scoot clip them, these are the ones. These are the tens and these are the hundreds. So let's say this was number 21. I would go 10, 21. If this was 45, I'd go 10, 20, 30, 40. I'd clip the tip of this and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and clip the tip of this. And that would be his number. And that you would be know. his number. Okay. When they're this size, they can grow out of that. Plus injuries from other crocodiles can cause that to go away. Mm -hmm. I have scoot clipped up to 35 animals. The scoot clips have been frozen in my refrigerator, and right now we're with Frank Mazzotti from the University of Miami trying to get CITES permits to have the scoot clipping shipped to the United States for toxicity tests. So that's Excuse pretty me. cool. Sorry. That's okay. Did you have a good dinner? I really did. I had a really good quesadilla. You were about it. Okay. We, in, with us, we're Scoot clipping on the left, or not scoot clipping, but putting the, um, are you going to catch as a lobster? Yeah, it's still right there. He's spiny, don't forget. We're going to put the chips on the left side, and what we're doing is, if you can just turn them and hold them on the side, Lauren. Okay. They're strong, aren't they? Yes, scoot she this is. hand a little further back. Okay. We're going by the cloaca, and we're counting back five full rows of scales. That's a partial, so we'll go one, two, three four, five. I'm going to go between okay. the fourth and the fifth. I'm going to go right in here. Okay. Okay. You Is always it okay to hold them here yep. still? Yep. And you might wiggle okay. a little because it's going to hurt a little. Okay. okay. I got a good grip on him, so. We're going to keep this tip up. Okay. Okay. Why don't you let me hold the back tail right now? Because okay. I'll hold him here. Yeah, hold him here. <laughs> okay. It's just going to go underneath his skin. Mm -hmm. Be between these scales is actually skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just going to go slightly underneath the skin. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're sorry, pal. There. There you go. Easy, oh, he didn't easy, like that. <laughs> easy. That's the first that's had it that hard. Mm. He just had enough of everything. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. like, I'm so done with you no guys. No blood or nothing. <laughs> okay, and I have I a little machine here somewhere. It was right oh, here. There yeah, there it is. Here we go. Let's see if it works. So that croc is now permanently O A O one four five six seven four blah blah blah. And so <laughs> when we bread. catch this croc again, all I have to do is run that little scanner machine over the side before I start collecting data. And then if we've um, done it before, we'll know. And it, then I'll still collect the data to assess its growth rate. 
and when it becomes sexually mature. So that's similar to the chips they put in dogs or something? It is. It's the exact same chip. The exact same chip. And then if I took any samples from this animal, if I thought I saw a parasite or something, I collected a sample, I got another sticker to put on my sample, and then I have another book at home that keeps track of the needles that I put a sticker on when I get home. Do you reuse the needle? Actually, I'm checking into that right now. As of now, I haven't, and I need to write to the company and see if I can send these back or not, and do that, but we are checking into that right now. I'm not sure. This turns itself off. So you were able to bring 25 chips down to 